CCNA security, ASA firewalls, side-to-side -side VPN. In this section we are going to talk about a side-to-side -side VPN. We're going to implement that using two ASA firewalls. The first one is ASA 5515, the second one is an ASA 5510. You can see the topology on the screen. Public IP addresses are 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.1.3. Behind ASA 5515, ASA01 in our case, there is a local area network 192.168.1.0. ASA02, ASA5510 on the right hand side has the LAN 192.168.2.0. To simulate a host behind these firewalls, I just put a router. I have a router 192.168.2.199 and I think 1.199 behind ASA1 and ASA2. We are going to use ASDM and CLI as well. well I'll show you a small trick that you can use when you create Ike Phase 1 policies. You can copy and paste that on the second firewall. This is a really important topic in the real world. A lot of VPNs are created between ASA firewalls and this is in a way beyond CCNA security if you're preparing for your CCNA security exam. Uh, I, I do not expect Cisco to ask you, can you set up a side-to-side -side VPN between two ASA firewalls? In the real world, it is a really important topic. And if I were you, I would play with it, create a lab, even in GNS3, that should be more than enough. Let's connect to ASDM now. We can see ASA 5510 and 5515. They are both running 8.3 plus. Or to be more specific, it is 8.4 and 8.6. We'll start on that ASA here. We go to configuration. And we have to start with Ike phase one. We will will not create a group policy here. We we'll just leave the one that is uh, is is in place. I'm fine with that. And then we'll create a connection profile. Let's start with Ike phase one. We'll create a new policy. We will use AES, Defi Hellman Group five, and Sha. Let's apply it, copy, and we'll paste it on ASA2. That's the easiest way, right? We will have Ike phase one policies on both firewalls. Okay, we will use a connection profile that will sort out everything for us. We'll create a crypto map and IPsec. Uh, proposals, everything really. Let's go to connection profile, let's enable Ike version 1 and create a new connection profile. Peer IP address and now our interesting traffic. Source and destination. We'll create a new object for that. We'll call it remote VPN. And the network is 192.168.2.0. That's our destination. Pre-shared key, of course, Cisco. We don't need Ike version 2. And please note that we'll apply a lot of uh, transform sets. Let's fix it. Let's leave AES and SHA only. Okay, apply. That's it. Let's go to the second ASA. 
side to side VPN, enable on the outside interface, and create a connection profile. Peer IP address, source, destination, again remote VPN, it's just a name, you can come up with any name you want, network 192.168.1.0 slash 24. That's our destination. Pre-shared key, Cisco. Again, let's remove IPsec proposals. Okay. That's fine. Let's apply it. Okay. We have our ASA's connection profiles ready. In the real world, what you have to do, if that's the case, in most cases you have NAT enabled, you have to create a NAT exemption rule. It means you want to make sure that ASA is not going to NAT that traffic from inside to outside. Source will be your LAN. And there is an object for that. I show you that on one ASA only. So that is our source. And destination is the remote VPN. Right? What you want to say, you want to say do not NAT any traffic going from that network to the other network. Remember, you have to do that in the real world. It's time to test it. I will go to a router that is behind my ASA. Let's verify IP addresses here. Yeah, okay, and let's ping 192.168.1.199. Okay, I can ping it. That's a good sign. Let's uh, go and connect to the ASA and show crypto. ISA canvas A, okay, good. Let's verify IPsec. Nice, we can see encrypted and decrypted packets. That's what we wanted to cover in that video, we talked about a side-to-side -side VPN between two ASAs, firewalls. As you can see, it's not really complicated. Of course, I assume you know what Ike Phase 1 is, what AES is, SHA, of course. You need all these things to set up a side-to-side -side VPN between two ASA firewalls. Thank you very much.